And then we've got to start with Nick Saban last night as one of his, uh, he was doing this, he was doing kind of like a round table type of thing um, at an event. And for some reason, you know, Saban kind of does this a little bit where out of nowhere, he'll even go to friggin' I won't even say some of the events, but some of the events where he'll just kind of go off and just feel like going off type of thing. And, you know, with his pedigree and his uh, history, he, he decided to go and hit a pretty interesting spot on a few schools, including um, Miami, which was maybe the lowest blow. It didn't go really too deep on them as much as maybe Texas A&M with Jimbo Fisher and even Deion Sanders got some slander in there. Saban was kind of going for everybody here. We'll go ahead and pull up the clip for you guys so you guys can listen and get your take, and we can start discussing what in the world is going on with college football this week. I love it. We need content. Uh, the, the, the site is kicking. I'll go ahead and tell you that. So more of this, please, Saban. Uh, we will definitely appreciate it. So let's go and see what Saban had to say last night. There are rules, just like Nate said. We have a rule right now that says you cannot use name, image, and likeness to entice a player to come to your school. Hell, read about it in the paper. I mean, Jackson State paid a guy a million dollars last year that was a really good Division One player to come to school. It was in the paper, and they bragged about it. Nobody did anything about it. There are rules, just like Nate said. So we have a rule right now that says Saban specifically not going to say he's not going to say any names here, but Saban is specifically talking about. Most likely Travis Hunter, for, former Florida State commit there, number one player in the country going over and flipping at the last minute, literally the last minute to go to Jackson State and join Deion Sanders, former FSU legend defensive back. How was Twitter last night for you guys? Because this was awesome. We weren't expecting any of this last night and um, it just put shockwaves across the college football and we'll stay kind of maybe strictly towards this one point here that Saban decided to go with towards Travis Hunter and NIL, a lot of money going to grab him potentially, or that's the, uh, that's kind of like what Saban is trying to go with here. And a little bit of an accusation towards Sanders. Yeah, it's been a, crazy 24 hours you know obviously nil has been a topic that's just continuing to get more and more discussion um with the allegations we've seen recently you know mike norvell mentioned tampering you had boston college one of their receivers said he received six figure offers and now you've got the pittsburgh wide receiver jordan addison heading to usc and you know rumors said that was enticed by an nl nil offer so we'll we'll see what comes out of that but this is just normally coaches aren't so public with these comments with directly calling people out it's it's a lot of you know under the table unnamed source type of stuff when it comes to that so to to hear nick saban just come out and directly mention texas a&m jackson jackson state and miami that's not something you get you know it's a little eye popping and he, now he's receiving some backlash for those comments he's apologized he had a public reprimand rep, reprimand from the sec along with fisher so it's a uh, been a wild scenario here and who knows if it's over because Deion Sanders said he was going to comment on it and he hasn't done that yet. But, you know, for Saban to go, you know, after Dion, that kind of, I was not really expecting that. I mean, was, was Dion trying to also flip Travis Hunter last minute there to where he had to throw some shots at, at, um, Deion Sanders. Are we Saban? Are we yeah. Connected yeah, some was. dots here. <laughs> was Saban a little salty that he wasn't able to get Travis Hunter too? Um, but yeah, that that was uh, definitely a decent shot there. And so Deion Sanders at 12.08, someone, I think his son woke him up at midnight because this was a rather late kind of um, talking session that Saban was doing. Prime responds at 12.08 in the morning. You best believe I will address that lie Coach Saban told tomorrow. I was and awakened by my son. That sent me the article stating that we paid Travis Hunter a million to play at Jackson State. We as a people don't have to pay our people to play with our people. What is y'all's first take from uh what is y'all's first take from that right there? Because obviously Florida State fans are just rolling their eyes and not believing anything whatsoever from what Sanders is saying. 
This is where I wish we had Nate right now, because I know he'd have something <laughs> something ready to go. I don't think any of us are surprised. Of course, Dan's going to say something. I'm surprised he hasn't said something more outlandish yet. You know, it's been 18 hours, give or take, and he hasn't really said anything of consequence. I'm kind of surprised by that. Yeah, and, and I mean, really, it's been the same message from Dion since Travis Hunter made that, you know, iconic flip to uh, Jackson State, because shortly after he did – signed the letter of intent stuff came out that he had signed that deal with Penn gaming who is affiliated with Barstool or whatever. And Dion the next day went on ESPN and shot that down. So he stayed consistent with his message that they haven't paid Travis Hunter, but you know, there, there are some definite reports that suggest otherwise. Doesn't make too much of sense. And you know, Maybe out of that last little late visit. When was that last little late visit that Travis Hunter had to Jackson State? Doesn't that November, was right? late November? Yeah, and I have a really strong feeling that was maybe the first time. They may have talked over the phone, yada, yada, yada. I know that Dion has claimed that Florida State has asked Dion multiple times to help out with recruiting. I think he has a few times, but I don't think these two have really met in person until that happened whenever Travis Hunter visited Jackson state, which we didn't really think much of it then maybe going to see, you know, just having the chance to go be with a former, one of the greatest defensive backs and that have ever lived to go there and, and check out the program and be there for, him, maybe get some advice from him before he heads to Florida state. But timeline doesn't really make sense to where maybe money or NIL opportunities aren't on the table, in my opinion. Yeah, you know, we, we've we talked about this situation so many times. I don't want to keep blowing it up, but who, know, who knows what happened there? Obviously, Deion Sanders was someone that Travis Hunter idolized growing up, and he said as much in interviews, and they had spoken um, while Travis was a commit at Florida State. Now, we thought those were more of motivational, uh, motivational talks of an FSU legend, you know, trying to inspire someone that, was going to try and follow in his footsteps and it, it went on a different way to say the least. It's one way of putting it. <laughs> yeah. Just a, just a tiny bit, but yeah, that was it. Then it do doesn't stop from there. You know, we, we get to hear from the former Florida state uh, commit Travis Hunter. Uh, he put into a tweet earlier uh, today talking about uh, Saban's comments and, and and practically going you know him going after his coach there in jackson state uh, which real quick it is interesting that travis hunter decided to speak up when nick saban didn't mention anyone by name same as Deion sanders last night responding in his tweet saying nick saban's comments that we paid at travis hunter one million dollars so for Saban Maybe. not to mention a name and then jackson state know who he's talking about everyone know who he's little... talking about it's a little interesting. Yeah. I mean, it's a little interesting. I'm I just saying. been there since he committed. I'm not saying he's wrong, but I mean, everyone knows just who he's talking little, about. Little tip, they're tipping the hand a little bit too much, you know. Uh, Travis Hunter said, "I got a mill question marks my uh, laughing face emoji, but my mom still stay in a three bedroom house with five kids." Laughing emoji. So, Travis Hunter, no mill. He's saying Break he didn't get a millie. Emoji. No, no millie. Emoji analysis. We, we need we need the NBA em, emoji analysis people from from the DeAndre Jordan days. If you know, you know. Because mm -hmm. that was that was the time. What we need is some tax statements. <laughs> we'll yeah, there you go. That's, Good that's, that. what, that's actually what we do need is some damn tax statements. <laughs> Dustin, can you get on that? I'll I'll try. Turbo you know what? took away the free version, so I, it messed me up for like two months. I can yeah. barely do my own taxes. Hey guys, this is Logan. Definitely appreciate you for watching the entire video. If you wouldn't mind, definitely hit that like button down below. Leave a comment on what you thought about the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you guys haven't yet either, make sure you're signed up on our Patreon. This is where we're giving our inside news, inside nuggets, recruiting scoop, and so much more daily. You guys can sign up for that at patreon.com slash no game day. It's the cheapest option out of any outlet covering Florida State Athletics right now at $2.99 a month. I highly suggest going to check it out. Once again, patreon.com slash no game day. Come hang out with us and get ready for the season ahead. 
See you guys there and thank you for watching.